Um, question nine. There are some sentence question, and then they say that a car travel from P to Q at this speed, and then later on continue from city Q to another city R on an average average speed ninety km per hour. And then uh after that they tell you that it's travel, uh two hundred and ten km in one hundred sixty one minutes for the whole journey. Uh. It seems like simultaneous equation. It's because this one it seems that they give you some uh relation in the first sentence, and then the second sentence they try to give you the second relation. So uh, but anyway, we better draw the situation to let us understand what is uh happening, and don't forget what is the how can we get the average speed by using the distance and divide the time. So the units give you some idea about the formula. So, uh, first, we have uh three points from P to Q to R is the question given, and then after that they say that this section between P to Q, this section the speed is seventy two. So we write down the speed one is equal to seventy two km per hour. Ah,、uh, similarly, ah,、uh, from Q to R, the average speed, speed two is equal to ninety km per hour. Ah,、uh, what is given in the next sentence is the whole journey, the total distance. Is two hundred and ten km. The time span, total time. Is equal to ah.、Uh, this is total distance. Maybe right here. Total time is equal to one hundred sixty one minutes. Ah,、uh, beware! There are something ah、uh, is. The unit here we use hour. However, the unit here we use minutes. So it's not very standardized. We better change this one in terms of hour. So. Minutes, one minute, or sixty minutes itself mean one hour, which mean that one minutes only. Is we divide both side by sixty, so this is one over sixty hour. We replace minute by one over sixty hours. Ah,、uh, is how you can transform the unit. So it is a one six one over sixty hour. After that, we try to ah、uh, use the information about the speed. In order to get the speed, we need to know what is the distance here. D one, and what is the distance here? D two. Ah.、Uh, The time span. Time, T one. Is, we just lay it be T one, and then the time span here. T two, which just mean one six one minus sixty, and then minus T one. If we span T one here, that mean we span the total time minus T one. And then after that, we focus on this section because we learn about speed is equal to distance divided by the time span from P to Q. We know the speed is seventy two. We know the distance is called D one. And T one here, so you may express D one is equal to seventy two times T one. And then, another part from Q to R, we do similar thing. So from Q to R, this is speed is equal distance. 
divided by the time again. The speed is 90. The distance is d2 over the time. 161 over 60 minus t1. So d2 is equal to 90 times this stuff. And don't forget that uh, we have the total distance here we didn't use. So finally, we are going to write down since the distance is equal to 210. That means d1 plus d2 is equal to 210 then we may write 72 t1 and then plus 90 times this one is equal to uh, 210 uh, from this formula we know t1 is the only unknown that means we can solve the uh, answer here 72 t1 plus uh, So we know that T1 is 1.75. That means the time span from here to here is 1.75. So uh the question is asking what how long does it does the car take to travel from city P to Q? So we may answer it is uh, 1.75 hours. Uh, no matter in form of minutes or hours, you must stay clearly what is your unit here. It's because minute and hour are both mentioned in the questions. So you have responsibility to tell us very clearly. Are you talking about how many hours or how many minutes? 